Hi everyone and welcome to the Rose Hip Island studio. This is the special edition video for the Big Wool Show 2022. Welcome everyone. Thank you for finding your way to my small place on the internet, I guess. If you normally watch my video diaries, uh, thank you for checking this video out as well. It's going to be a little bit different today or very different today. It's not going to be the normal format. I am um, basically doing this video as a way of recording my virtual stall for the Big Wool Show, which is on the weekend of the 12th and 13th of November. It's about a week away from where I am now when I'm recording this video. And what I have done in past years is that I have put all of my stock out on my table here in my studio and I have made a little video of all of them and sort of just show them a little bit more in detail than what you can see on my website. I wasn't going to do it this year because life's a bit busy and I feel like I don't have as much in my shop as I normally have, but I do actually have quite a bit and I thought, why not? It's quite fun to get everything out and have a good look at it and play around with colours and, and yeah, just enjoy all the, the gorgeous colours. So I have done that. I did that this morning. I've only done my delicious sock base, my merino single, merino linen singles and my bio sock. And so I have done those videos this morning. And I thought, uh, while I have my, my cup of tea, and I've checked that those videos are okay. They're not um, award standard or anything like that, but they will show you uh, what I have in the shop. It's not everything, but quite a bit of it. And I'm hoping that's useful to you. Just see it as a virtual, virtual stall and that you're sort of browsing what I have available on my uh, table at the market. I have two things that I wanted to mention that are coming up for the Big Wall Show. And that is number one, that I will have a yarn club starting up again. I did a tea and yarn club for, well, I had um, two or three clubs with tea and, and yarn. They've had a bit of a break, but I'm ready to do a club again. And I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm working on the details. So I'll have that ready to share with you during the Big Wool Show. The second thing is that I have prepared, I have set aside a huge amount of my stock to go on um, sale <laughs> for the Big Wool Show. Basically, I will discount, I think, everything or almost everything that is yarn bases that have, um, they're taking a break. I'm not going to get any more of, of, that, of those yarn bases in for a little while to die on. I uh, might never do again. I might if I start missing them or if I have a lot of uh, questions um, to get them in again. But uh, yes, everything like my, I only have a few skeins, mohair silk, merino silk, the worsted merino linen. There's a, there's a few things that I haven't, I haven't been dying on for a while, but I have some remaining skeins. So they will be on sale for the big wool show. And um, I'll have a big show special section in my shop where you can find all of that stuff and then actually i have another thing i wanted to mention and that's that i still have a little bit yarn that is drying so that's not included in the videos that i have recorded this morning so what you will see me showing is not everything so please also have a look in the shop if you're interested in seeing more things there's more uh, bright colorful stuff uh, coming that's not included in the videos today. I would like also to mention that for 
the big wool show, I will have a slight delay in shipping. I have other commitments, unfortunately, during the actual show and my time or ability to send out things straight away is limited. I am really going to push and do my best, but I just have to see how I go. Previous years, it's been absolutely crazy and it's been days of work to get everything out the door. And um, I do have full-time work during the week after the Be Wool show. So I'll just, I'll do what I can, but I hope that you understand that there will be some delay in shipping. Some of the yarn that I have available in the shop is up here. Here we have my delicious sock on a few, in a few colorways. Over here we have the Merino Linen Singles and they, those two are my main bases. They're the ones that I like working with best myself. I made uh, this Miss Serena tee out of my Merino Linen Singles in a grey colourway. There's one in the shop now just called grey and this, the purple one here is a Pinot. The Callaway Pinot, I don't have that available at the moment. I have one that's more pink called Cocktail Dress. And Delicious Sock is my other base that I use mostly. <laughs> and I just, I'm wearing this uh, basic um, jumper, top down jumper that I made out of the Delicious Sock yarn. And this was a colorway that I made for a advent calendar one year. And I just want to show you that, you know, the sock yarn is it's great for socks. But yes, I've also used it for a few garments. And I have mentioned previously in videos that I've used the Merino linen singles in garments and washed them in a washing machine on a wool wash. And they hold up really well. They're really easy to care for. And it's exactly the same with the Delicious Sock. I made this. Um, top quite some time ago. I've worn it a lot and also wash it on the wool program in my washing machine. Hang it out and line it to dry and you know minimal amount of, of peeling I feel you know not more than you would expect and uh, I really like it. It's very comfortable. What is really good with the delicious sock I find is you can knit it at a, quite a tight gauge and you get a nice plump uh, hard wearing fabric but you can also knit it as a, at a looser gauge and you get quite a nice grape and just a very nice fabric so that's the two main bases and also the other one that i've been talking about more is the bio sock which i don't have a lot of this is the sock i made um but i do have some of it and it is a base that I plan to keep stocking and keep tying on. And I think that's really all that I wanted to talk about or mention. And then we'll just head into the videos of all the yarn and colour and loveliness. Here I have a table of merino linen singles that I have in my shop at the moment and I'm about to label them and I thought I'll show you some of the different colorways I have. If we start here, I have a colorway called Summer, sort of a very pale pink with green, yellow and pink speckles. Very similar to that one is the Garden Lights colorway. It's a colorway I've had for a while. It's a pale green with pink, yellow and green speckles. Seashells, it's a beige orange with some green. Sea lettuce is a green with the orange in, so they, they complement each other quite well. Summer Splash is a fun speckle colourway, turquoise, bright green, yellow and some dark navy black speckles 
here we have some labeled ones this one here is vintage lace and i actually have that one knitted up if i can show you vintage lace is what i've used in this um shawl it's a thing sherry chevron shawl by amber o'brien so that's the vintage lace there and i'll show you the the navy blue or sky blue in a bit so that's that one there then i have a faded rose petals similar with that sort of muted pink and browns and this one is forever love has also that sort of um muted pink beige and gray in that one i think these three would be quite fun to do like a fade or something uh here we have heart red quite red um not quite saturated red but it has also a bit of um variation in it it has some more warmer almost hint of orange red and some more pinky reds in it so that's heart next to that we have flamenco and you can see that's pink with some yellow undertones that come through every now and then you can see the beautiful um flex that the marine uh, the linen is creating in there this is sorbet variegated pink and orange or apricot maybe i should say this is pink just a very bright pink and this is a one of a kind um colorway i did is i called it underneath because it has a lot of colors coming through from under the the pink it has a bit of um linen undyed linen in it as well so a bit of a tweedy look to it so it has a bit of yellow and blue popping through from from under the the layer of pink uh, here we have roller skate blue and purple variegated disco it's a bit brighter variegated purple turquoise um, blue this one is the the blue navy it's not really a navy but it's, it's basically almost as dark blue as you can get on this space so it's similar to the one i used in this shawl and then i have fresh winds this is i think my favorite color in the merino linen base it has turquoise and blues layered and uh, then we have a couple of yellows they're very similar it's hard to see the difference um this is sunny day which is much more saturated um warm yellow and this is gold and you might be able to see that it has more of a like a dirty gold look it has some very very um slight brown tint to it so that's the difference between sunny day and gold then we have a purple cocktail dress i call this one it has some gray in it and the, the purple Here we have my spice market colorway just fun with lots of speckles and splashes of color turquoise yellow red charcoal on a sort of a, a beige base this one here is bushland these two they have a um green gray um tonal brown gray and green i'd say And now looking at some greens, uh, no, sorry, grays, of course. Um, this one here is, it's a one of a kind gray I did. And uh, I've called it gray with a variation on the website. It has a bit of an, a yellow undertone here, you might be able to see. 
a bit of yellow coming through but it is a medium gray and this is just the gray I have um, so they're very similar but this one has a little bit of yellow tint to it and here in the middle is what I call deep so it is the same sort of gray but it has some speckles of red and some turquoise ones as well in there so that's those ones and I can show you something I made using a gray like this this is the Miss Arena top that I made in this yarn base and I used a gray like the the gray I have up on the website now and I used my Pinot colorway which I don't have available at the moment but the cocktail dress would be a similar it's a bit more purple um, but that's those ones then if we continue on some more lighter colorways I might go this way now this is sand so just a pale beige this one is breathe which is very pale purple mauvey purple colorway bubbles which is a pink slightly is a very pale blue it has a bit of a gray blue but I say it, it shows mostly as a blue. Fine is another pink, a bit cooler, I'd say, and it has a little bit more uh, variation in it than bubbles. Then we have Magical, which also has different purples, pinks, blue, or turquoise blue, and a sort of a very pale grey or grey beige in there and this one is the new one I call crystals so a, a light purple with hot pink and turquoise speckles so there uh, some of the ones that are available in in the, the shop at the moment and these are a few of the projects that I've made using this yarn base the rose hip shawl striped sweater miss arena that i showed you and the sherry chevron shawl and now i better better label all of these skeins here we have a selection of my delicious sock yarn that's available in the shop at the moment and we'll start from this side. This is Flirty, which is a fine speckled pale pink, pink and some purple speckles. Then we have a new colorway, First Love, warm pale pink tonal. This one is Thoughts, another new one. They'll go well in a fade, actually. And this one is, I just call that lots of fun. It's just one of those, one of a kind. I could probably repeat it, but it's just, had, I had some fun with my, my dice and speckled and greens, yellow, pink and purple, pale purple base, warm purple, I'd say. And this one here, it's similar but it's a cooler purple and it has turquoise and pink speckles fantastic i thought that i uh, call that one then we have some more sort of tonal quite a few similar one in pinks because i love pink this one i call fields of heather it's it's tonal almost variegated it has different shades of purple and, and pink This one here, I'm on this one. I call that Mrs. P for <laughs> Mrs. Purple. I'm running a bit <laughs> low on names. Um, can't come up with things all the time. So it's a tonal, um, a bit more saturated than the Fields of Heather and more pink, I'd say. Different shades of pink and purple. 
warm color. This one here, a girl's night out. I call that one, it has more strong pinks, bold pinks with also some of that more muted pinks in it. And then we have berry lips, which has even more of the, the pink and purpley colors in it. So lots of those type of colors. Then I have silver princess lavender. <laughs> this is a tonal purple. And this one here I call new love. It has quite um, strong pinks in amongst the, the red. Against the pink, you can see it's much more red. And then if we move up here, this one I've uh, just called charcoal. It's just a, a tonal dark gray it's darker than it looks like now actually on the movie or the video uh, this one is at sea tonal sort of navy blue it's similar to um some colors i used in this shawl but it's a bit more this more variation in this one so that's at sea this one here is Travel Plans. It's a fun variegated blue, green, and uh, a pinky purple color in there. This one is Pine. It is um, a pine green that has a bit of um, lighter, almost sort of beige brown parts of it. This one here called Esmeralda. It's not coming out as green as well, that's probably so that's quite saturated, solid um green. A bit of fluff on. There's more more of that colour there. Then I have a similar one that has a bit more of a tonal. Um, light and dark variation in it. Uh, em um, emerald feels, I call that one. And then, yeah, this is a fun one, intense look. This has some purple, turquoise and blues. So it's sort of, it's variegated, but it's not hugely uh, different in the different colours in there. And then I have Calm Seas is this one. It's it's much more of a muted blue. So lights and darks in there as well. You can see I, I really uh, am drawn to this type of, of colorways at the moment. Just a tonal. They have quite a bit of difference between the darkest and the lightest shade in there. But it's still all the same type of color. Then we have Dolphin. It's a pale turquoise with blue speckles similar to the flirty but in the turquoise and then here we have a lake morning which is a blue but almost gray much more gray in this blue we'll see it against the um at sea that's at sea, and that's Lake Morning. And this is sort of similar to combining the ones I've done here. Okay, and if we continue on to some yellows. This is Sunny Days, uh, a golden yellow. Mandarin is a orange yellow pink with pink speckles also it's a bit like the dolphin this is sort of like a set i guess a similar dyeing technique different colors 
Then we have flames. I love this. Very um, orange, brown, beige, shiny, like it has real shine to it. Variegated. This one I call Reclaimed. Hard to describe colours, like a brick red, but with more brown. This is a tonal brown, which I'm just calling tonal browns. It's a chocolate brown. And then we have raspberry chocolate. So it's the same tonal brown, but it has a bit of pink in it as well. So that's those ones. You can see range of blues, oranges, browns, greens. Lots of pinks and purples. That's those. These are some of the things I've made with my delicious sock base. I made a, a simple jumper using one of my Christmas colorways. So this is using this, a speckle in a garment. I've showed you this shawl before, it's the Gambia shawl, and um, using tonals to create fades, and then tonals to create um, colour work effect in a sock. That's those, and I also have this base um, in some 50 gram skeins that I will. Last up to show you in this video is my small selection of bio sock. Here a few colorways I have. Cottage garden, which is a colorway I've had for a while. Just a, a pale colorway with pink, yellow and green speckles. Custom jewelry is a beige pink I guess with pink and pur no yes pink purple and yellow speckles this uh, tonal with quite a difference between the lightest and darkest or almost variegated it's called vivid and we have hot pink which is really very much a hot pink then we have Hortensia and Hydrangea, which is actually the same thing, different name for the same thing. This one is more of a pink purple, and this one more of a, a blue purple, both um, variegated. No, sorry, both tonal. Uh, fuchsia variegated pink and purple here are a pair of socks that i've made using this colorway no this <laughs> sorry this yarn base in this colorway coral this is a variegated and you can see it creates these sort of micro stripes in the you knit it up veggie friends this green one, tonal green, fresh winds, I think this is a tonal turquoise blue, fire pot, yellows and pinks, summer party is a, a beige with purple and pink speckles, a bit of yellow in there as well. And last up is Crazy Fun, a pale purple with yellow, green and purple speckles. So that's what I have available in the Bio Sock base. And as you can see, it knits up really lovely. So I hope you enjoyed all of that it does take a little bit of time to go through all of the different colorways on the yarn bases 
I hope it's appreciated. I will have tried to put in some chapters in this video so that you can skip ahead to where you want to go. I will not be doing the normal showing you what I have been working on. I plan to do a video later in November with the normal content that I normally do. It is a busy time of year. It's getting busier. So we'll just have to see how that goes. I'm not going to um, make life difficult just to get a video out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, because I will have some things to share with you. Another reason actually why I will not be really showing what I'm working on is that I'm actually knitting mostly on my advent calendar knit. So I've started to use the advent calendar that I did for Rosie Island into a, a cowl and I don't want to show that to anyone because it is very secret <laughs> until everyone has opened their advent calendars. But it is coming up in December. I will be sharing on Instagram every day what the, the mini looks like every day and what it's looking like knitted up. I've been doing that for a few years, a couple of years, and I really enjoy doing that. It's lots of fun. So that's coming up in December. Okay, well, thank you so much for spending this little bit of time with me and letting me show you all the things that I, I have and I have been working on. And, you know, I'm always very proud of the work that I do. And I'm very grateful that there's a few knitters out there that appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you have a really, really great big wool show. Enjoy all the live streams and classes and check out all the different stalls. It's really, it's an amazing event and I think it's fantastic that it's on for a third year in a row. It's really great. So that's it. I'm going to go and let you have some knitting time or family time or whatever you need to do next please come back and check my normal video diaries if that's something that you're interested in and have not seen before and um, yes I hope that I'll see you soon again so until then thank you and take care